All right, and welcome back. Under pressure. <laughs> Under pressure. Oh, right, where something was happening. Yep. Someone's coming at me. violins, you know, there's yeah, something, something bad about something's that. going on. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh, slow motion, you're gonna love it. Oh. <laughs> This is your first moment under pressure with the bow and arrow. Yeah. And wisely, they keep you still, right? So they do it with the story and they do it with the, mecha with the mechanics. That's a, that is smart. A beautiful marriage there. So you only have to worry about one thing, which is aiming. I appreciate that the subtitles alerts you to this <laughs> because we've got it turned down so the mic doesn't pick it up so I cannot hear these sound cues. <laughs> She shot exactly. No, I mean, either. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing that big burly dude was there to open it for. Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out when I woke up there. I forgot how much I like this game. I'm like, I'm really looking forward to the sequel now. Yeah. No, I uh, I feel like it somehow went really under the radar. Was it out during another big game or something? Uh, I feel like it did at least come 3, out. Or? Uh, it might have been or pretty close to Uncharted 3. Or, or it may just have come out in that same October, November wave of just where everything's coming out. Yeah. Really easy to get lost in that mix. This Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I... Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. There's another uh, design on Candy Valley issue there with the uh, the inventory, inventory space, the things you carry with you and on you, how they interact with your body when you're moving in complicated ways. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're, the resolution is so high now, it's, you know, back when, when you were Link and you had, you know, a, a, a tin polygon shield and a <laughs> tin polygon sword and you did a roll and your shield clipped through the ground and your head and your legs, you, you don't notice that sort of thing. Um, yeah, but the higher resolution these things get, both conceptually and visually, it's, it's an interesting challenge to deal with. Yeah, just the more weird it feels. Just the more things we get looking right and perfect, the more the stuff that's not perfect stands out. Yeah, and it's not even a matter of uh, um, imperfection as much as it's like, it's a design space that we've inhabited so long we, we don't know how to get out of, right? Like having a game where you say only have one or two weapons ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost unthinkable. Ouch. A oh. that wolf. Am. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the other wolf? Oh, geez, it's right here. Hello. Oh, okay. Good aim. Wolf. Come on, wolf. So now is your, your second under pressure Gosh. experience with the bow. <laughs> Come on, wolf. <laughs> and I seem to remember feeling like it was an undue amount of tension here. How much did, did they wound you? Not too bad. Not, yeah, not too badly. I think I think they're pretty charitable, with, at least with the, with the damage. And I... Oh, that's right. I can... Oh, no, I was getting my arrow back. Okay. Thought I was doing, like, a Far Cry scavenge yeah. save pelts thing. Something on fire. Looks like something's on fire. Something's drawing you there visually. That's, yep. That's a good thing. So you've got these little pools of light, which actually don't cast much light on the environment. They actually don't do much. A little bit. Yeah. I, I guess appropriate. That's what torches... Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Torches don't light <laughs> things well, apparently. Uh... Arrows. Arrows laying around. What do we got? Here's our first uh, major architectural feature. Mm. Well, no, I guess the first would have been that bunker. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, this is the first old style. Because the, the, the story has to do with the multiple layers of, of history. Here. Looks like it was made quite recently. By those islanders, no doubt. 
Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once. I really do love that they make Lara such a like anthropology, archaeology nerd. That she just sounds like that kind of nerd. And just like, <laughs> just her, the only thing that distracts her from how terrifying this all is is how interesting <laughs> some, yeah. of the, some of the uh, artifacts she finds are. Oh shit! It won't take the force. It's a nice character I'll detail. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. And I, I, I don't know if it's somewhat related. <laughs> because we're just, this is the all Josh Foreman pet peeve project. That <laughs> no, that's fine. This is, this is um, <laughs> something in general in, in movies and games is the, the, the relative hotness of people, right? You, you, <laughs> you look at people who are really into archaeology. How many really hot people are really into archaeology? And yeah. it's. But it's like this unwritten rule that a movie or a game has to have, you know, a, a tin. They have to be a supermodel. <laughs> and I just wish that wasn't the case. That would be nice. All right, like, are there any... I'm trying to think of some, like, uh, recent shows or uh, films or games that are, like, not doing that. Yeah, non-comedies. Yeah, yeah, non-comedies. <laughs> yeah, comedy, cool. yeah. <laughs> Comedies are the exception to the rule. Am I supposed to be going all this way? I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. Looking for something better. Stronger. Stronger, right. Oh, there's wolves. I wish they <laughs> didn't blend in so much. <laughs> Come on, wolves. I'm trying to find things. What's your favorite game? Or one of your favorite games? I know choosing just one is kind of hard. Uh... Definitely a big fan of Team Ico. Oh, yeah. Or Eco, if you want to be pedantic about it. <laughs> I still don't know what the correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm almost certain it's it's Eco, but, you know. Probably, yeah. Being American, I'm going to call it Ico. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've been saying Ico for a long time, too. That was a good Southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> Lived in Texas for a while. Yeah, that's. Grew up in Georgia. I'm a. <laughs> Some of my favorite multiplayer has been uh, Worms. Worms Armageddon, I feel, was the pinnacle of the Worms franchise. <laughs> Good old Worms. Yeah. I, you know, that's that's the thing you don't have much of anymore is hot seat play, where you can see the guy you're playing, you know, and you're taking turns, and there's that, that's just an experience that doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah. Or like just the couch the, competitive scenario. Yeah. Or they're close enough where they can hit you in the arm. Lately, I've, I've really been into roguelikes or anything roguelites, I guess, more so. Um, like Spelunky, Rogue Legacy, oh, yeah. Hand of Fate. Uh, games that, that really, I don't know, I, because I'm kind of a Discovery Arc type player, that's, that's my thing, is, is I want to see what's around the next bend, and it's great when it's something different around the next bend than what I saw last time I was here. Oh, okay. Well, here's your first waterfall puzzle. How do yeah. you fire through the water? How to do. If I can do. I'm not sure I can do. Mm. Might be I found one of these little, uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, Glass lamp. Uh, okay. Oh, it actually tells you right yeah, on the right screen. Yeah, right there. Oh, interesting. That's probably smart, because I actually would not have been... <laughs> especially while trying to talk at the same time, doing recording yeah. a show, I am much less observant. This yeah, they do just kind of prop burn goes away. and then go away. Which, I guess, for, uh, like, performance reasons, probably. Getting stuff off the screen, not having to worry about physics or additional geo. Uh, I feel Maybe? Like, I feel like it's the destruction state was baked in. It's just the that technique where you, uh, you do a traveling UV set of fire that goes across the prop. And mm -hmm. so, in order to leave behind wreckage they would have to have built another prop which is the burnt prop wreckage sure so you'd have to double your your props sitting there in states that, that makes sense i thought this was a, a neat puzzle yeah it's it's interesting visually it looks like something someone would have set up for you know kind of religious purposes or whatever Ooh, good cue. This might work as a ramp. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. <laughs> uh, I 
That is always the thing with these games. Even if I don't actually know what, where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to be doing, it's nice that the character at least tells me, <laughs> cues me in, is just go this direction and you'll figure out what you're supposed to do. Go back to that, uh, I that, guess. that rim that you were just jumping at real quick. Oh, back here? Yeah, right, yeah, right where you were trying to get up on there and could not. Oh, back on the plane. Yeah, I want to look at that just from a, from an analytic perspective. Okay. So, so there's a very straight line that's coming out of the, the edge of that craft. When, yeah. you, when you tilt the camera, you see white on it, but yeah, it, it almost looks like it's got a different shader on it. It looks like it's it should almost be able glowing, to grab right? this. Yeah, and you cannot. So that's just something, you know, wow, that's, that's really interesting. I wonder what's going on there. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, there, there's a critique. That's a mistake that I probably made a hundred times, and that's a mistake they made there. They, so you've they established have a rule, <laughs> and so you have yeah. to make really sure that, like, in establishing that rule, that you don't create something accidentally that looks like it, that rule should apply to. Yeah, and it's not like the rule is broken, right? Because everywhere that you can climb is kind of this painted, chalky, flaky material, right? And that yep. is not on that edge. That's true. Granted. So it's like, it's a subtlety, but it's, it's, in, it's in that gray area, and it's close enough where... Probably 90% of players did what you did, and they just hop up and down like an idiot for, you know, 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yep. Oh, so I can just grab these now. Cool. And then I can throw them at things. Cool. I think. I assume. Throwing explosives uh, nice. is the best. It is. All right. What are we going to throw our explosive at? Or, I guess, it's probably not going to actually blow, blow up. It'll probably just catch fire. I assume. I don't recall. Huh. Oh, maybe I... Yeah. Maybe I throw it at this thing. There you go. Yes, it's working. Whatever I'm doing is working. Is it sad that I just get Jake Lloyd in my head every time I hear that phrase anymore? <laughs> oh, now I'm thinking it too. It's no. It's <laughs> Poor Jake Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. He's not a kid anymore, is he? No. no. There's bits of white down there. Again, that's the light reflecting off of that. Uh, so yep. that, that's an issue where uh, someone made the prop, right? They set a certain specularity amount on it. And whoever made the prop is 90% sure. It's not the same person who put it in the, this level and, and lit the level. So there's a, a place where some further communication could have helped. They could have said, yeah. these things are like popping, glowing in my map. So either I'm going to turn down... Um, this is like, uh, I don't want to get too technical, <laughs> but basically there's like a glowiness slider that you can put in your level, right? Yeah. That'll make highlighted things like really pop. And so that, that's a matter where it's kind of confusing. It's like, wait, white things I can either burn or climb except for those white things. And right. it's just because your camera was at a certain Which angle. I guess is the consequence of choosing white as the color. Like no matter, like whatever color you're choosing as the, uh, the signifier for you can climb or interact with this has to be applied across everything just to be a consistent rule. But that means that you have to really, really limit wherever else you use that color because you're going to confuse the player. It's kind of it's kind of like using green screen, right? Yeah. It's like, well, you can't have a green outfit. That's why, why I had to buy a blue screen because I was doing some shots where I'm dressed as Link. And so I'm I'm in green and yep. I, my green screen won't work. Exactly. Yeah. So you're trying to choose a color for that screen that is not naturally occurring in almost any situation, which is why they use that really bright, crazy green or blue if that green's not an option. But uh, but yeah, that, that's I imagine also the trick just with uh creating these environments in general is because like whatever you want to choose a color that is naturally occurring enough that it feels right to be in the environment and doesn't feel like you can't choose the super bright green screen as you're yeah. climbing on stuff color because that just does not look like it belongs in this world but uh yeah white works pretty well because because of bird crap right i mean that that naturally occurs on natural ledges and well on architectural ledges all the time so. sure and, and it's fairly random. It's wherever birds happen to congregate, so... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's a good justification for it. And, I mean, Uncharted generally uses yellow, I think? I feel like they're mostly yellow. I, uh, the, the latest game I've been playing is Mad Max, and they're yellow. Oh, do they use yellow as well? Yeah. I still need to play that. There's too much stuff coming out. Indeed. Too much good stuff. I felt Mad Max... Uh, excited me because I felt like it was finally the right 
game genre for the uh let's see watching the latest mad max movie left me with the desire to norm to know more about this world and to explore this world yep. right yep. it was a fantastic story and it was like how it was just stripped down you know it focused on like two things and did those two things perfectly but it made it clear that there's a whole world of ideas and concepts out there that had been thought of but only hinted at in in the film and so it was great that a game could come along and be a big open world game full of you know exploring these things totally more how how have you felt about it like uh what you've seen of it so far uh i've played about i don't know maybe 10 hours and i'm i i think because there's so much good stuff out there i'm probably gonna drop it at this point sure Um, i feel like i've got you know the 80 percent of what it has to offer (laughs) Uh, i'm just gonna jump down here anyway ow sorry laura but i did enjoy my time with it and i'm looking forward to it i'm at the point where i've got still like metal gear and witcher both unfinished and they're both impossibly long oh, and yeah. fallout's about to come out and like <laughs> also i can't have long. yeah like i can't have all three of those in progress at the same time i need to start finishing these and then there's all these other games coming out yeah well at some point you know i've heard this from a lot of designers they say you just you just have to make the sacrifice you have to decide there are going to be a lot of games that i only play a quarter of the way through yeah. or for Two hours. Designers especially, I'd imagine, yeah, to do that. Yeah, just because I need to know what they did in this game. I need to experience as much as I can. And there's some threshold at which you can kind of get a feel for, you know, okay. For, from here on out, it's mostly iterating on these core concepts. Sure, yeah. But yeah, designers have got to stay current on just yeah. what everyone else is doing. It's not like, you know, if you're a film director, you can watch almost every film that comes out. And, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's, it, it's possible. It, yeah, but yeah, you won't have time to direct anything. <laughs> But, well, no, I mean... It's, it's, it's hard. Okay, sorry. Not every film that comes out. I feel a like lot. you can watch most of the, the, main, the main Hollywood films that come out. You know, you could right. spend 10, 20 hours a week and watch pretty much all the movies that came out that week. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you, there's no way. You can't even come close with games. All right. Sorry, this, take, this puzzle's taking me an unusually amount of long amount Oh, of and, you, and you, you're... Fire disappeared. Oh, now I can climb it. it got all, right, all right, tilted enough. All right, sure. Yeah, I feel like they could have they could have had a something that that moved there to make that more just obvious. to message that a little bit more clearly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the entire thing tilted, but the, sure. But that particular ledge, although again, it's not a grabbable ledge. What was it? You, you I, I, d- kinda, I did grab it this time. Grab it. Okay. So yeah, which is a little, and it doesn't feel like it feels to me as a player just. Looking at oh dear okay good, <laughs> uh, it's felt to me like I should have been able to grab it this whole time. So it's just a little bit of a I don't know. We, we don't like that ledge. <laughs> yeah, that's what it. Comes Not to. a fan of that ledge. Uh, if a box would have fallen out of that that door, that it, that ledge is kind of a I think that's a rail for a door. Is it like a sli- think... like a slidey minivan door? Uh, that would kind of make sense. Or it's just yeah the just the little ledge yeah. right over that. Maybe I can grab something over here. Can I make it? Oh, there's, that's there's nothing no to clear grab. There's white to grab. Alas. Should have known. All right. So there's something I'm still missing here. Help me out. <sighs> Detective Vision. Remember. I feel like I was... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That, what's that swingy thing? Uh, can, you, can you burn? There's a weight on it. I just... No? Can't shoot it again. You need to... Hmm. It's probably a clue that there's only one side, one leg to that thing. Yeah, it probably is. Can you knock that box off? We, we have not learned anything about shooting weights down off of things, as far as I know. That is true. Okay, so there's... Oh, uh, maybe I can throw them. something over that way, if there are any... Um, oh, but I can't jump. Yeah, I, I think it's... I think you're you, you're knocking that thing down so that thing swings and catches those things on fire, etc., etc. <laughs> And you can't get on top of that. Can you climb on the boxes? Ah, uh, let's down there? see about this. And onto that. Look at that white to uh, grab. Ah, uh, yep, there it is. All right, yeah, that was not their fault. That was my fault. No, the white <laughs> saved us. There we go. Lighting fires in the forest. A regular Indiana Jones. You don't <laughs> really give a crap about history or preserving anything. Uh, this, I mean, in general, this just feels unsafe. <laughs> Because fortunately, the fire doesn't spread. Oh, 
useful. Little balancey thing. Hmm. Uh, one good thing they did was put water down here. This is the first time you're really up and doing a lot of catwalking, right? Yeah. So the fact that they put water, if you fall down, you're probably not going to die. That was that was smart on their part. Yep. Where do I need to head from here? Uh, I think you climb up the plane now, or or there's you can get into the plane. Ah, uh, that might be. All right. Well. Good idea. Bad idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that turned Ad out adequate idea. Uh, it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, come on. Where can I get back up? Here we go. This is taking me right back to where I was. <laughs> cool. Okay. Gonna find my way. So good at video games. You're, uh, <laughs> you're representing the everyman. Yeah. Am I? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> It just in this game in particular, for whatever reason, I feel like I need to apologize to Lara every time I make her do something <laughs> stupid. Like my Dark Souls character, I feel like I'm the one suffering. <laughs> Here, I feel like Lara's the one who has to deal with every stupid decision I make. I wonder why that is. Do you think that's a? Do you think that's a? Um... I think it's because the game should like just story-wise, the game emphasizes like how much every thing like hurts her like every like every <laughs> big fall you take she feels like she seems to take somewhat realistic damage and pain from thanks laura what cloth oh that one okay yes but yeah like the game emphasizes how difficult and painful everything she this whole ordeal is for her so when i cause more of it i feel bad mm -hmm. all right can i can i reach it will this work uh, maybe go to that ledge that's got the white, ah. the white edge on it. This one right here? Yeah. yeah. It's that block that's blocked by the plane. Unless you get it right in that door. Hmm. Oh. Alright, yeah, maybe I could. Let's try that. Oh. Yeah. That feels that's good. The one. That, feels that feels good. good. There it is. Good job, guys. <laughs> that felt good. Surgical use of fire. <laughs> Uh, okay, and that opens the way probably to inside the plane to jump in. Okay. I got this. And yes, there's white ledge. And another one. One of the really neat things about this puzzle is that you're literally interacting with the history of the island, like physically. Right. You're not reading text about the history. You're not... Uh, being told by an NPC about the history, you are physically rolling it, burning it, shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> All the things a good archaeologist knows to do. <laughs> and she just puts it in her back pocket. <laughs> Tomb raided. Am I not even supposed to go here? Is this just an optional tomb to raid? I think it is. I think this is uh, your first tomb raiding cool. experience. Didn't yeah. get anything I needed for what the guy sent me off to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... You'll learn some stuff. <laughs> but this stuff is coming I home with me. I came back with no. <laughs> uh, see, all right. See if he's eaten by wolves at this point. <laughs> all right, heading back. And, uh, next, when we come back... I will find whatever it is I'm supposed to find that is sturdier than my little pickaxe thing. So, see you then.